Uh, the social elena uh, talks about things other guys like talking about. Mm -hmm. um, ask, it should say um, ask questions. Ask questions about things other kids like talking about. Showing other kids they want to get to know them by asking questions. Okay, can you read the two in purple up there? Yeah. Uh, remember remember th things that other kids like. Um, is not negative about about things other kids like. All right, thank you. Stay there for a minute. Do you want to read any more or no? Yeah, sure. Okay. Guys, here's the deal, Nick. All right. In life, guys, people kind of fall between being what's called a social relator, okay, and an information informer, and there's a range like this. So to Ethan's point, guys, a social relator is somebody who uses their brain coach, Ian, to talk about things that other guys or girls like talking about. They ask questions about, other, about things other kids like talking about, and Ivan, they show other kids they want to get to know them by asking them questions about things they like or about them. Okay, so the other thing guys a social relator does, it, they remember things that you know other kids like. So things they kind of store in their memory, I call that a people file, bless you. Thank you. I didn't make that term up, okay. And guys, the other thing that social relators do, they're not negative about things other kids like. So for instance, if Simon says to me, I really like Minecraft, and I was like, oh, Minecraft is stupid. That's not being a social relator, okay. Ethan, what's on the opposite end here of being a social relator? It's an called an information in. informer. Okay, what is an information informer? I mean, um, without reading it. No, you can read it. Oh. Or you don't want to read it. You don't have I'm to. An information informer is when. Like, Wait, turn around and face the microphone. An information informer is when you have, say, you want is uh, you have a kid who's like uh, you wanted to talk to, and all they talk about is what they want to talk about and they when every time you want to talk they most likely would interrupt you or not pay attention and then uh it just shows that they don't really care about what you think excellent and ethan would an information informer show other kids that they want to get to know them no no okay who's thank you ethan um you're good yeah thank you uh, raise your hand if you know anybody in school who's, a, who's an information informer, meaning all they talk about is Fortnite or Minecraft and they just talk at you and give you lots of details, okay? Uh, raise your hand if you think maybe at some point you were an information informer. Or maybe still are. I see a few hands up. Yeah? Huh. No, I usually talk to information informers and I couldn't get enough information. Ah, okay. So guys, I only saw two, one, raise your hand again if you think you've ever been an information informer. Okay, that's a little more accurate, thank you. Guys, I'm gonna tell you, I think a few more of you have been information informers, but your brain coach wasn't helping you to realize that. Um, guys, one of the things that, let me tell you what happens with information informers, guys. When they're in elementary school, Tyler, what tends to happen is information informers, they're talking to other kids about things, right? They keep talking whether it's about dinosaurs or cars, right? And other kids in elementary school just kind of get bored and be like, okay, and they walk off and leave. Guess what adults do with kids who are information informers? Ethan? Adults, uh, they will just stay and listen to you the whole time. They yes. Because they know that if they leave that, they think it will get upset. So say that again, Ethan. They Guys, wait, I'm sorry, hold on. Guys, I want everyone to listen to what Ethan's saying because he's 100% right about this. Yeah, because I've seen it before, especially with me, and I realized I was in information with him once. But oh, like adults, it. adults will not leave even if you're in information with them when you're talking to them because um, they, feel, they will feel like adults don't really maybe they don't know if you're an information informer and if it's boring, but they just want to just do it because maybe they want to know more about you or they just don't want to make you feel upset. That's exactly right. So guys, when you're in elementary school, if you're if kids are information informers, what Ethan said is, is exactly right. Adults will stand there and listen to kids because they want to be polite. Other kids your age don't care about it, okay? If you're an information informer with younger kids, they're not really going to notice it. Do you know why? 
Because guys, the older we get, what, what were you going to say? I said because their brains aren't fully developed. They don't know what an information formula is. They don't know if someone's talking in a, in a food way. They don't know what's either food or, or nice or if they're not being nice. Because little kids, I don't even know if they understand what some people say. Right, so little kids might not understand it. So Nick, here's the deal, right? When we get older, what's called social expectations go up. People expect more of us as we get older, okay? So one of the things, guys, when parents call me, you know what they always say? They say, my son gets along with younger kids and with adults than more with kids his age. Do you know why? Because younger kids will tolerate somebody being an information informer. Adults will tolerate somebody being an information informer. Kids your age will not tolerate it, okay? So who thinks it's sometimes easier to be around younger kids or older kids or adults? Okay, yeah. The other reason why, guys, and I want you to really hear this, Ivan, okay? And everybody else, this is important. Adults sometimes, and parents, you know, think like, oh, my, my son has really good social skills or he needs help with this. But guys, at the end of the day, it's not teachers who are the judge of whether you're an information informer or social relator. It's not your parents the judge if you're an information informer and social relator. You know whose job that is? Us. Other kids your age. Exactly, Simon. Yeah. Guys, who decides that if you're an information informer or social relator is kids your age? Okay? So that's why we're talking about this. Okay.